How is it going everyone? I'm Laser, and today I will show you how you can easily change the RGB settings on the GMMK Compact without using the dedicated software. And just before we start a quick request, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like as it really helps the channel out. All right, without any further delay, let's jump right into it. Uh, let's start with something simple like changing the intensity of the backlight or the brightness of the backlight. In order to do that, all you need to do is press the function key, the Fn key, and use S to lower the intensity or the brightness, and W to increase the intensity. Right now I'm displaying a, like a rainbow effect animation on the keyboard, and we can change the speed of the animation. So if you want to do that, you just press the Fn again, and use A to slow it down. As you can see, it's really slow now, and use the function D to increase the speed of the animation. It's getting faster and faster, but there's a, like a limit to it. Now, the keyboard has a couple of built-in effects that you can toggle between. Let's start with a, like a static effect. If you press Fn and F, you can toggle between like a static breathing effect. This is the static uh, breathing effect or toggling effect where the color changes. Uh, where the keyboard displays all the colors that it, it's uh, able to display in like a smooth changing fashion. And here again, you can change the speed so it's much faster or you can lower it down so it's really slow. If you press Fn and F again, you will have like a breathing effect where the single color changes and lights up and goes dark again. And if you want the keyboard to be uh, lit up all the time, you just have to press it again. And now we have a static color that's being displayed all the time now here you can change the color of that of the backlight so if you press fn and x you can toggle between nine different settings so we have blue we have purple we have cyan we have white we have uh, like a rainbow effect here red orange yellow green and back to cyan again if you want something more colorful you can just press fn and v and this would change to like a Christmas tree effect because I don't know how to call it otherwise. You can play, you can press FNV again and it uh, changes it up a bit so that there's like uh, some um, keys are not being backlit. And if you press it again, you have the rainbow effect that we were starting with. So like the rainbow is going from the bottom to the top. And here, if you have an effect like this, you can change the direction of the wave. So if you press FN and Z, the wave is going now in the other direction. So from the top to the bottom, if you press it again, it's going again from the bottom to the top. Pretty simple. There is also a few few more effects here. Uh, if you press Fn and G, you have like this uh, wave effect that's going out from the button that you press. It's, pre it's pretty nice as well. If you press it again, only the key that you are pressing will be backlit. And if you press it again, only the row that you are using will be uh, in like a you know split wave fashion. Um, there's also a couple more. If you press C, you have like this wave going from left to right. If you press F and Z, which changes the direction, it's going in the other direction. If I press C again, is this this wave is like a more uh, less uniform. It's like a more more of a single line. And if you press Control C again. It's like, uh, I don't know, for me it looks like a clock effect, like, you know, it's it's toggling between all the, it's toggling between all the keys in like a clock, uh, clock fashion. We can also use uh, control, uh, we can also use Fn and B. And now we have like a wave that's going from the edge to the edge and back again. If we press it again, this is again, this is a single color, press it again. It's like a split wave going from, uh, from the center to the sides. We can also press Fn and H. Okay, it's, it's more complex than that I see, but you, you, you catch the drift. If you press H, it's like a sin wave effect, uh, like you can see over here. We press it again. It's again more complex animation. Of course, you can change the color if you want blue or, or, or anything else. Let's see how it looks with the rainbow effect. It's just like that. If I press Fn and H again, it changes it again. So there is a, a lot of customizability when it comes to the RGB on GMMK Compact. So I suggest experimenting a bit and uh, finding your, your own uh, way around it. I showed you the basics, but you have to find what really suits your uh, preference, your style and, and your needs. 
All right, that's it from my side. I'm Laser. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.